What's up, Libra? Do me a favor and trust yourself because your intuition clicked on this video for a reason. There is a message in here for the full moon in Pisces. So that is September 10th. This reading is covering September 10th through September 13th. And it's a love reading. We're going to see who's popping out in your love energy. So full moon energy is all about reveals, secrets, exposures, because it's really about illuminating what's been hiding underneath the shadows. And then Pisces is the dreamer, very ethereal, spiritual energy. So it's a really good reading to see whose energy you've been feeling rather than necessarily seeing in front of your eyes. So we're going to see who's popping out for you, Libra. All right, let's set the intention for clarity. Only clear answers coming through these cards. Oh my gosh, they're telling me <laughs> to shuffle again. All right. Tell me who's coming out for Libra. My God. Three more times they're telling me. What's going on here? All right. Who's coming through for Libra? Switch it this way. My God. Tell me who is in Libra's energy for the full moon in Pisces. A very robotic energy, okay? I'm getting this is someone that's probably very masculine-based energy. Go to work, come home, go to the gym, you know? It's like very, very da-da-da-da-da-da-da type A kind of personality. Um, whoever this is, yeah, I, I feel like it's, not to say that, you know, masculine energy is robotic, but it is more logical. And more men are into, you know, the STEM careers. It's more like piece by piece, whereas feminine energy is more about flow. I'm kind of getting that this is just a more masculine energy coming towards you. Um, doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman watching this. It's just someone that's more in their masculine. Maybe you are interacting with them in 2020. They literally could be a coder. I'm kind of noticing the background here. They could be a coder. They could be into the STEM field. Uh, maybe they deal with robotics in some way or they're literally building a robot. Hey, maybe you have like a love for a robot. Who knows Libra? But there's definitely some sort of robotic energy coming in. Let's get a little bit more about this for Libra. Tell me about this robotic energy coming in for Libra for the full moon in Pisces. Maybe some of you are into robotics or the STEM field. Tell me for Libra. What's coming in for Libra? Who's coming in for Libra? Full moon and Pisces love energy. Unfinished business. Interesting that we have 20 and 21 here. So this could represent last year's energy. It's also the 22nd card because the fool is zero. It starts tarot. So end of the major arcana. This could have been someone you were dealing with this year or last year. Um, but the world is the end, right? It's the end of the major arcana. It's graduation. It's ascension. So this is moving on up to the next level. So in reverse, I get that there's unfinished business. More to the story here. More unfolding. So this definitely could be a past person. Maybe it's like you went through the same thing over and over with this person. Maybe that's the robotic energy. The Seven of Wands, Leo energy. So the world has all the fixed signs on it. It's Capricorn energy. So this has Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, and Aquarius. Um, this is Leo energy coming through. I get that this was a very contentious something with this person because the Seven of Wands is a conflict energy. This is like a stand your ground energy. The whole world is against you, but you're still fighting for what you want. Um, it's, it's someone fighting for what they want. I feel like what they want is you, Libra. And maybe they've been doing the same thing over and over to try to win you back. Or maybe that's the reason they lost you. Yeah. This was someone that's very sad about losing you. Missing you. Five of Cups, Scorpio energy. Crying over spilled milk. But in reverse, it's like, let me try to pick myself up. Someone's very upset about losing you. Yeah, I feel like someone lost control of the situation. And they're trying to rebuild with you. They're trying to replenish. Give me more for Libra and what Libra needs to see. It's been the energy a lot. And maybe it's because we're about to go into retrograde tomorrow. But yeah, a lot of the case of the X. We literally have two X's on the first card. Give me more for Libra. What does Libra need to see with the full moon in Pisces? Bye. I'm telling you, this person's not done with you. That really does make sense with this robotic energy. 
And that Aquarius energy, even on the world, because Aquarius is associated with technology, perhaps they're an Aquarius, but this is someone that's using technology to their benefit to spy on you. So this person's stalking your socials, definitely using the internet to see what you're up to, who you're gossiping with, what you're liking. Yeah, this person's all over your socials, Libra. All right, let's get more for Libra. Final cards for Libra before we go into the charms. Telling me to shuffle once, okay. Final cards for Libra before we go into the charms for the full moon in Pisces. Tell me about this per person that's not over Libra, sad about losing them, stalking their socials. Tell me more about this person for the full moon in Pisces. We'll flip it out at you is what they're telling me. Okay. Thank you. Family karma. So I don't know, maybe you were in, maybe this person's, you know, the father or mother of your children. I do kind of get that with the world. You know, she's naked. Sometimes she's depicted as a pregnant woman. Uh, you could have kids with this person. This is someone that's, I don't know, I feel like trying to see what's going on. I feel like very closely associated with you. Maybe they're interested in what's going on with your family energy. We have guardian and that guardian's making me think of the seven of wands. This person's trying to guard what's theirs. I'm almost getting like, if I can't have you, no one can energy, honestly. It's like, even though you're broken up, things didn't work out, they're still keeping tabs on you. They're still trying to stalk and see what's going on, Libra. Let me get a charm for you. Give me a charm for Libra. So on robotic, we have enjoy every day. But you know what's sticking out to me is every day. I feel like this person's stalking your socials every day, Libra. But they're still trying to find a way to enjoy life, right? Like they're getting out of that five of cups energy, trying to get out of the sad energy. But they're very like determined to get you. And I feel like they're doing something over and over, even with the world in reverse, like repeating patterns i don't know if it's bad or good so we have venus energy which actually rules over libra so there's your energy coming through in gemini you could be dealing with a gemini so venus and gemini is all about my venus is actually in gemini it's all about communication it's all about i always say it's like mind fuck energy right like mind fuck me turn me on with your mind this is someone that's very attracted to your mind but also very much wants to communicate with you i feel like they are communicating through divine feminine so probably sending you telepathic messages you're probably feeling their energy more than anything makes sense with the full moon energy too in pisces in the 10th house so this is someone that's very determined strategizing trying to be ambitious about winning you back libra yeah, it's all over this. This is someone that's very determined. I'm kind of getting, if I can't have you, no one can energy. So just be mindful. Someone's definitely stalking your socials. So I hope this resonated with you. Thank you for watching. And tomorrow I will definitely have a personal reading for the full moon in Pisces. Check you later.